What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Got another addition to the top 100 freshmen, incoming freshmen, be it some of them, like I said, are already at their colleges. They came in the spring. A lot of them that we've uh, went through have already played in the spring game. Go check out the playlist um, on the channel. Let me pull it up so y'all know where to find it. Uh, started a new playlist series on the channel if you go over here to the channel click on playlist impact freshman is the new series we're recovering the top 100 uh freshmen entering into the season and the reason we're covering that guys because a bunch of these guys are going to be playable in college football 25 and if they're not then i strongly believe they'll have roster updates so if any of these freshmen become true freshmen where they actually get to play then i can easily see a roster update from ea and put some of those freshmen into the game because you gotta think in 14 we didn't have roster updates and stuff like that not like you do now and stuff like that so guys that's there the um i'm gonna scrap that series probably my college football playbook series is there if you want to try to find what defense and offense you want to run for college football 25 go peep that out as well I, I got some more stuff coming for that. Y'all just be patient with me. So if that stuff interests you, man, subscribe to the channel by clicking that subscribe button, turning the bell icon on so you don't miss a single upload. All right. Not a single upload. All right. So Arkansas Razorbacks, Braylon Russell, top 24-7 ranked 90 um, and the number 26 ranked running back. Reading about him. Russell is a tankish six foot one, god dang, 252 pounds. The college ready size is obvious. Russell will have to continue to pick up the Razorback offense, and there are some talented players in front of him, but Russell is exactly the type of player who can help early. New offensive coordinator Bobby Petrino lauded Russell's size, physicality, and pass catching skills during spring ball. Y'all, that is insane. Okay, so they say 252 pounds right here, but here they have him listed at 6'1", 230. If he's 250, that's a big old boy. 230 is still big, especially at 6'1". This guy is solid. I don't know if they got some pictures of this cat, man. See, he don't look that big. That's what's crazy. I mean, he a big boy, 6'1", 2". I mean, he's stout. That's where it's at. That's where the size is at right there, man. Look at them thighs, boy. It's like tree trunks, man. That's a big old boy, man. And it looks like he's already there during the spring, so he's ready to make an impact. They didn't mention anything about him playing in the spring game, uh, but he is a four-star running back, okay? Keep that in mind. Um, let's look at his recruiting. He's got, he was offered by Arkansas, Arizona, Arkansas Baptist, Arkansas State, and Baylor. So, I mean, you got, you got what, two, three power, four schools in there? Not, not a big recruitment. But Arkansas is pretty stacked at the running back position um, on roster. They have a senior four-star. Uh, they have another four-star who's a junior. Uh, these guys, I don't know if they're not starred or they're just the star rating's not showing. Uh, and then they have him listed as a four-star. So that's, that's pretty interesting stuff right there from Arkansas with this kid right here. Uh, let's read a little bit more about him. So they did show interest. Okay, I'll take this back. He did get some more offers. I'm sorry. I was like, no, nah, surely he got more offers than that. And see right here, they got him listed at 6'1", 252 pounds. Arkansas, we went through them. Boston College, they offered him. Central, UCA offered him. Cincinnati, Kansas, Kansas State, Ole Miss, Purdue, South Carolina, Southeastern Missouri State, Tennessee, A&M, and UNLV all offered him. Okay, so he had several several big time offers. Um, that that changes that changes a lot right there. So let's take a look. Uh, read about what what they say. This is what was interesting to me right here. Okay, his high school background also plays basketball and competes in track and field. Guys, what did I tell y'all, man? I'm telling you, if you are a skill guy and you are wanting to go to the next level play play track run track man even if you're not the best compete in it because these scouts love it attended hot springs arkansas i know where that's at lakeside prior to his junior season he threw the shot 45 feet uh as a junior in march of 2023 you're not gonna see his senior stats guys because he graduated in the spring 
Okay, that's why he's not showing anything as far as that. As a sophomore, he ran a 11-4, 100-meter dash. I'm interested to know, did he run the 100 as a junior? Okay. And how big was he his junior year or his sophomore year? I'm sorry. Because if he's remotely close to the size he is now, 11-4, guys, I know some of y'all might, you know, especially us in Texas, 11-4 is not fast. That's JV time. But for a guy this size, that's moving. That's moving. In 2022, ran for 1,600 yards and 26 touchdowns on 6.8 yards a carry as a junior. Um, while catching 22 passes for 224 yards and a touchdown. Average 156 yards from scrimmage per game uh, for a Benton team that went 9-3 and three and reached the Arkansas 6-8 state semifinals. 2021, average 120, 102.5 yards from scrimmage per game as a sophomore for Hot Springs Lakeside. Okay, so that is interesting. Like I said, y'all see right there, he enrolled early. That That's crazy, bro. Tennessee was one of his finalists. Let's get to the highlight tape because, you know, and, and you know, I'm, I ain't just a big. We're going to look at his senior highlights, man. We're going to look at his senior highlights. Let's look at those. Come on, man. Am I already looking at it? Okay, I was. I just need to maximize it. All right. Yeah, let's do that right there. Let's see if we can't break this down a little bit. Three minutes. Okay, got a little quick burst right there. He got some walk-off speed. It ain't Texas speed, but it's walk-off speed. Ben, Arkansas. I know where that's at, too. I like the quick burst right there. Look at him at the receiver position out there. That was smooth for a big guy. He is a big back, man. Big back, big back. Not big back like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Don't do like that. I don't know why the corner was playing that far off of him. That was crazy. This team, obviously, isn't that hot. They just, they just bouncing off dude, man. He out wide again. This time he in the slot. Okay, let's see what he got. He's slow off the line. Now, you know Arkansas ain't going to put him out wide, but, man, he catches the ball good. He walking off on them boys, man. That's crazy. That turf is ridiculous. That looks cool. Okay, he can run outside. Okay, can we see him against a different team that they didn't thrash? Can he go between the tackles? Well, of course he can. Look how big he is. Good move right there. And that's just power, man. That's just getting in there. That's just getting in there. Good. Okay. Skirt, skirt. Give me the ankles. Wah. Touchdown. Uh, I wonder if they're scared to tackle this dude. College, they're not going to be scared to hit him, man. Go ball. He... Man, he is such a fluid catcher. He catches the ball so fluidly. It, it, it's smooth, man. You don't see a lot of bigger backs that are like that. It's, it's a big boy. They just bouncing off of him, dude. I mean, y'all saw the thighs on that dude, man. He Like Trent Richardson, just stocky down low for no reason at all. Look, they don't want no part of that. Get off me, son. Get off me, boy. And then he going to square up to him like he did something. Man, you just got trucked. They got this kid running routes, man. 11-7 in track. He better be able to run some routes. I'm going to tell you something. A dude running, like, for that size, being able to move like that coming at you, man, as a corner, bro, I'm finna tie his shoes. No way I'm finna hit this dude up high. That's crazy. I want to see some moves, man. He just running through everybody. Does he have a stiff arm? Does he have a spin move? These are the things that you're going to need in the SEC because them boys going to be, they ain't going to be scared to hit you. A receiver again, bro. This is crazy. That's crazy, man. The finesse at this guy. I like it. I like to see it. Going in motion. We in the backfield following the H back. Good patience. Good job seeing the hole. Good cut. Skirt, skirt. Choo, choo. Stiff arm right here. Ah. Nah, he ain't going to get him. Turn on the blazers. Ooh. Give me the ankles, son. Get off me. Keep going. Is he going to stay up? Nah, he out. That's it right there, man. That's some good stuff right there. In the backfield again. Hand off. Between the tackles, good job being patient. Splits two defenders. Use the stiff arm to get the guy down, baby. I want to see some moves. Okay, he blocking on the edge. No, it's a pass. Throw it to him. Squish, squish. Give me the ankles, boy. Safe. That boy slid in the home plate. Did he get the touchdown on that? I want to see the, the wide angle on that one right there, man. Arkansas, y'all might got a little something, man. 
college, they, they're going to probably, I wonder if they're going to try to get his weight down to get his speed up. If this guy gets any kind of speed, you know, you want to say he kind of reminds you of a Derrick Henry, but I ain't seen him throw the stiff arm yet, you know, and, I, and it's tough because I know the competition in Arkansas, you know, it ain't like Texas high school football. You got, oh, oh, go back, go back. That boy dropped a boom on him. Look. Boo, number seven wasn't ready. Look at number seven from the start. Look, look at no offense to this kid. If that's somebody's kid, if that's your child, I'm sorry. But look, he ain't want no part of that. Look at that. Boo, boy, you gotta come correct. Touchdown. We got time. We got time. Let's look at his junior highlights, man. Okay. Here's my thing. And I did y'all say, well, DM you hating on him. I'm not hating on the kid. I mean, he's a big guy and he can move. I mean, for them to be using him in the pass game is really big. I want to look at his sophomore year because he ran 11-4. I wonder if he was smaller here. He was at a different school. I don't no, go back, man. Did they tell his did they tell his size right there? Okay, so gosh, man, I wonder is he really 250? Because if he is, that could be a concern weight wise because that means he's putting on a lot of weight fast and i don't know if it's all muscle his junior year see they have him at six two his sophomore year where he ran 11 four he was six one i'm gonna say six one 225 pounds i don't know about y'all but i don't know too many six one 225 pound running backs that's running 11 fours thus that's you know i know a guy down here, that's a pretty big boy, but he 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 chopping off about 11 ones, 10 nines, 10 eights. This is interesting. So let's look at his sophomore. What I expect to see is a quicker back. Let's see how his game has evolved. I know y'all gonna say look at the junior year, but I want to look at that sophomore year. Mid-season highlights. So he he's not. I wonder if they used him in the past game, like out wide. A little bit, a little bit more shifty. See, he's using that stiff arm a little bit more. Oh, 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 oh snap! Oh, snap! Let's, oh, God! I was not expecting that. That boy knocked. It. How you get trucked and your helmet come off? That's nasty work, my guy. Golly, blue that boy helmet off. Look, he gonna. Golly. Dang, Boo. Dang. God, dog, I almost cussed on YouTube. Video almost got demonetized. That's crazy. That's a, what a play to start your highlight reel with, man. The pitch. Okay, now we seeing the wheels. He looks. See, he looks quicker right here, man. He looks quicker. God, dog, that that truck stick, man. That's tough to start a. Okay, and some pro tip for y'all. Um, when you are doing your highlight types for huddles recruits don't actually like when you circle who you are they know they see you they know your number because they're pushed on time so the quicker they can get through a highlight tape the better just pro tip right there I'm telling you what these recruiters have told us all right so you know if you want to do it that's on you but you want to stand out take that off i like the patience i like the patience on that good use of the stiff arm right here Okay, they got him in some wildcat. Tuck that ball though. You can tell a difference between him, his junior, his sophomore season, and his senior season. His senior season, I mean, he's he's more defined. He's more to the T with what he does. Here you can tell there's a little bit of greenness behind the ears. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, give me them ankles. Stiff arm. Where was that your senior year? Where was the stiff arm at? Scoop, scoop. Being patient. Turn it on. Break a tackle. Nope. Reverse field on him. What? Tuck that ball, though. Get that ball in that outside hand, man. That's an easy way to fumble. Oh, ankles. Got that boy second. Guess it. He's still going. Stop this. He seemed more dangerous his sophomore year. Golly. But I imagine, I mean, by his senior year, everybody keying on him. Good block. Fake it. Oh, don't get ran over. No. Oh, got that boy stumbling. Got him stumbling. He had that boy bear crawling, boy. Golly. That's your starting middle linebacker. Look, he thought he was going to lay him out. Boom, bear crawls. Get it, get it. <laughs> oh, snap. That's crazy, man. This dude, okay, Arkansas. I'm telling you, dude. 
Oh, man. Arkansas, y'all may got y'all a good little low power back right here, man. But like I said, man, you see in the guys that he planted, that one linebacker was pretty good size. But they, this kid still got some power, man. So I'm, I'm interested to see how he pans out in the SEC. He went early, but like I said, they didn't say anything about him in the spring game. So I'm wondering, I mean, but if you leaving early, you're a four-star guy. This, this cat right here, man. Probably like a Darren McFadden kind of back. And I don't even think McFadden was that big. McFadden had a nasty stiff arm on him, though. Look, he's still trucking, man. Y'all got to wrap them feet. Beast mode. Okay, let's see. Scoot, scoot. Turn on the Jets. Get off me, son. He's still up. Keep going. I had to take the whole team to bring him down. Oh, he playing Arkansas High, man. That's right here in Texas County. Well, of course, he went to Hot Springs. Yeah, they play each other. Let's go. Stiff arm, get off me, son. Ah, come on, get them feet up, baby. He's a sophomore right here. I got to give him, I got to lay off of him a little bit. Okay, we in the past game. Somebody finna get trucked. Somebody finna get trucked. I can feel it. Boo, let's go. Ah, come on, man. He playing, that's Magnolia right there. That's who they playing right here, Magnolia. Between the tackles, we good. We bouncing it to the outside. Okay, he got some run out. He got some breakaway speed right here, man. Good, good use of the stiff arm right there. Let's go. Let's see what he got. Okay, we breaking tackles. Oh, man. I mean, he legit, bro. He legit. Arkansas high right here in the Wildcat. Ankles, give him to me. Ooh, get off me. Ah, come on. Missed opportunity right there, man. Missed opportunity. Got two lead blockers right here. Look at the patience right there. See the hole? Get through it. There we go. It ain't the first down, but it's close. Ah, man. I mean, what a way to start a highlight tape, trucking somebody's helmet off. I mean, it's been lackluster since that. I mean, he's got some good runs. Don't get me wrong. But, it, I mean, how do you top running a guy over and his helmet coming off? Like, okay, see that? Okay, they throwing him on the routes a little bit. Benton used him a lot differently. They really utilized him in the past game. I don't see uh, Hot Springs doing that. And that's why I wanted to watch his sophomore tape to see kind of how, how they utilized him. Okay, you said beast mode. Let's see it. Good job. Okay. Ah, that wasn't a beast mode run to me, dog. I'm sorry. That first run is just hard. I, I should have stopped the highlight tape right there. I shouldn't even watch no more. I should have left it at that. All right, we're going to stop that right there, man. Uh, so what they say is here, big body back with better than expected open field athleticism. I will attest to that. And I wanted to read, I wanted to watch the highlights before I got to this. That is, that is true. Better than expected because I didn't expect a lot of what I saw him in open field. Short range acceleration, I'll agree on that. But he, he did walk off on some guys. Boast a three sport specific athletic profile with uncommon combination of reps in throwing events, shot put as a junior and sprints 100 meters as a sophomore, plus basketball. Guys, be a multi-sport athlete, okay? Be that. You need to be playing multiple sports. Basketball is going to help you with explosiveness. Track is going to help you with speed. And by golly, if you can do powerlifting, that's going to help you with strength. Production made a significant increase from sophomore to junior year in both yards per carry, in both total and per carry rate. Consistently displays ability to catch the ball out of the backfield with almost 50 receptions across 2021 to 2022 season. That is accurate. Downhill burst combines with large frame to make for a difficult second level tackling assessment. Spot on. Vision and sneaky first move elusiveness. I will agree. Catch defenders off guards. Encouragingly shows ability to get skinny in the hole considering big body build. Bro, I, this, this guy right here, he own it. Because... His projection is a power four starter. I will I will agree with that. Uh, Flash is subtle quick footedness in tight quarters. Yep. That keeps plays alive and gains unexpected yardage, extra yardage. Can still get faster at the top end. I will agree with that. And the college is going to make him faster. But showed improved open field linear speed in 2022. Gears down noticeably when redirecting. But helps compensate when uh, promising with promising bursts out of those moves. So what they're saying is that he throttles down, but I mean, he, you know, he's, it takes him a while to get slowed down, but boom, he's back at, he's back at it. Uh, let's see. Should provide a forceful short yardage option at the next level, given size and athleticism. 
I will agree with that. Upright running style, a huge frame combined to create a large target for defenders. Occasionally relies on athleticism rather than run, finishing, size, and strength. But that's going to help him to be more uh, longevity. Because college, they're going to bruise him. Can improve lower half fluidity. Lacks full catalog of verified data to provide ideal context to athleticism. Does he meant size? Limit long-term upside? Projects as a quality power five running back, power forward now. Back prospect who could be, who could at least provide a punishing change of pace option, but also might become high volume workhorse. Scheme and fit will influence college role and impact, but the size and functional athleticism makes for a four star back with the potential to play beyond college. Like this guy, man, I was actually surprised with that. You don't see a lot of bigger backs able to move like that. He did have a next level burst. He did have good, um, good short range speed. He walked off on a few cats, but you know what I'm saying? I understand too. This is in Arkansas and you ain't just got the top notch athletes in the nation coming out of there, but the dude got some potential. Arkansas better do right with this cat. That running back room is loaded. That's what concerns me. You had some offers from some schools. I mean, shoot, everybody's, everybody's backfield is loaded. Um, I don't know if he had a better option to go somewhere else where the backfield ain't as loaded. I mean, you're looking at these schools, five backs, five backs, Kansas State with three, Ole Miss seven, four, eight. You know what I'm saying? So these running back rooms is stacked, man. And a lot of reason why is because with this new style of offenses that these teams are running, spreading it out and stuff, you're going to rotate some backs, man. But imagine being number five on the roster and you're a four star running back like, bro, that, that is crazy. That's crazy. So, man, let me know what y'all think about this cat, man. Let's see who up next. Up next will be, oh, we got a good one. We got a good one with this cat right here. I've heard about him from Auburn. Amaris Williams, DN, and Walker White quarterback. So tune in tomorrow for Auburn's guys, man. This one's going to be fun. That's all I got for right now, y'all. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.